Okay, welcome back YouTube. This is the EGR Delete video part two. Um, I went ahead and did the process here to uh, delete the EGR valve with the resistors. Um, I had to take a few apart to get it right. Um, but anyway, no big deal. Okay, so going back to our diagram, I made a few notes on there. Um, I cut off our connector. This is our EGR connector. I removed it from the harness. All right, so that goes like that. And then I took the wires and, again, not the prettiest, but I'll clean them up a little bit. I was having a little trouble with my soldering. Um, the solder didn't seem to want to behave. I don't know what's going on, but um, as you can see, it's the resistors I have are in a triangle. All right, I'll try and show it to you. Uh, this resistor here and this resistor here are the 3.9K uh, uh, half watt resistance or, or uh, impedance, okay, ohms. All right, that's these two guys right here. All right. And they connect between this one, which is wire 46, pin 46, this one, which is pin 26, and then this one down here is pin 27. And that connects there, that connects there, that connects there. It makes a triangle. All right, and so again, I'm gonna clean this solder up. I think I have the wrong um, the wrong solder here with me. I brought it down to the garage. It's not pretty, I know, I'm sure. This is the internet, so I'm gonna get flamed because they're not perfect. But I did say in one of my other videos, I'm a hobbyist, I'm not, a, I'm not an electrician, I'm not an electronics guy. So uh, say what you want, but... Uh, this stuff has gotten me through what I've done for years now, so I'm not too worried about it. But that is how you delete an EGR. Now, what I would do eventually is I just wrap this up, with, carefully wrap this up with tape. And then, again, this is right next to the TPS right here. Okay, I didn't interfere with any of this because this bar was uh, pin 26 and 46 as well. And I didn't want to interfere with it. I just spliced it in here where the EGR connector was at one time. And then most of this I'll just roll back up underneath uh, and tape it off and clean it up and you won't even know it's there and this will eliminate the check engine light from coming on and it will also eliminate the um, uh, uh, Any codes being thrown so it's a good little fix for your harness It's on I again prefer to keep it out here on the engine harness and just connect the wires and um, Not uh, not interfere with any of the other functionality of the 46 signal return and the 26 V ref uh, circuit which share which is shared by other sensors on the uh, the harness itself So there you have it. I know again uh, I'm looking at it more closely. I'm gonna have to clean that up a little bit, but, um, but You can see the three resistors 3.9 K 3.9 K 3.9 Right here 3.9 3.9 K ohm 3.90 ohm resistors Here's a baggie for the 3.9K that I got from Parts Express. And then over here is a baggie for the 39, uh, 390 ohm resistors. There's a part number there. Maybe you can help me find it. I, I just go on Google and put that in. It comes right up. And I got a Parts Express. And it was easy peasy. Okay, so I'm going to put this harness away, clean this up, and put it away. And I'm going to go back to the other harness I was working on um, the other day. But uh, you can take a look at this for what it's worth, uh, and I'll show you eventually finished. And we'll, once if I ever put this one on a vehicle of mine, uh, we'll see that the check engine light doesn't come on. Okay, fair enough. Talk to you soon.